It was January 7 in 1970 when Arno Heinonen and Esko Viljo left for a skiing trip in the village of Imjärvi, Heinola province. It was 4 o'clock in the afternoon when they noticed a strange long object approaching them. The men described the object as fire-colored that didn't make any sound. Soon the object disappeared momentarily, but then above the men appeared a bright white burst of light that looked like a cloud. Now the object seemed to make weird buzzing noise resembling like swarm of bees. And moments later they saw hovering three to four meters above them a crazy saucer-like object. The object was about a couple of meters of diameter. On bottom of the saucer were three white colored half spheres. In the middle was a cone that reflected light on both sides. In an interview in 1971, Heinonen said that the flying saucer was so cleverly made that a human would not be able to do that. The men tried to escape but were unable to move, as if someone was holding them still. Greyish red mist soon discharged from the object and the men described how the air smelled like sulfur-like gas that stung in their noses and throats. The mist became denser and in the center of it appeared a sphere of light, which descended about one meter above the ground. After that, the ball of light spread on the snow and turned into bright one meter wide disk that gradually changed color from light to dark fiery red. Next, the disk shot out fiery red, green and purple rays to all directions, flying about 3 meters away. At the same time, Heinonen felt how he was pulled back firmly, like something was holding him from the hips. The dark green of the disk began to shrink, rising upwards at the same time, and it seemed to spin into an oval-shaped ball, which then beamed up. Then, the men saw a small creature, dressed in light green protective suit, holding some sort of black device in its hands. Heinonen described how the creature had a relatively large head and a small round body. He described the protective suit as a very strongly glowing phosphor suit. The creature soon disappeared inexplicably. The fog spread around the man. Heinonen later described how the fog just ripped from the middle and then evaporated. This whole event lasted a total of 10 seconds, and it left no traces. Heinonen told how soon after the incident his body had various strange symptoms. He described how he was standing on his right side towards the phenomenon, and how the whole side now felt cold. After a while, the coldness turned into hotness. A feeling of numbness crept into his legs and arms, and the joints began to tingle. His back was in great pain, that made him bend over. Lastly, he felt nauseous. At first, Vilja did not notice any weird symptoms, but after a couple of hours, his face was really swollen, and the skin on his face and arms were red. He described how his eyes were dazzled and felt pressure, and soon his joints ached as well and he got a bad headache. The men decided to seek hospital treatment, where the doctor could not find the cause of their symptoms. The doctor prescribed sleeping pills for the men. The men returned home and went to sleep. The next day, however, their conditions had not improved at all. Heinonen had difficulty getting out of his bed, and when he finally succeeded, his legs felt powerless and his back stiffened. He soon got a headache again, and he felt nauseous. Heinonen returned to the doctor, who this time prescribed him sedatives. However, they did not seem to help, as Heinonen's sense of balance began to falter. He felt scatterbrained, and he suffered from bad nightmares. He suffered from the symptoms for five months, until they eased enough for him to get back to work. Bilio also suffered various after effects, but was still able to work. This incident caused the skeptics to doubt its credibility. A Finnish magazine called Suomen Kuvalehti made an article about the incident in which they tried to bring various sensible sources to the phenomenon. One possible explanation would be a lightning, which was disputed by the man. The air was clear, and it was about minus 20 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And on top of all that, the phenomenon buzzed like a bee. 
The doctor who examined the condition of the man confirmed the symptoms. Heinonen was a provincial level cross-country skier and thus in very good condition. So it was strange that such a fit man suddenly ends up bedridden. However, the doctor considered the possibility that the men were so frightened of this phenomenon that they got psychosomatic symptoms. Psychosomatic symptom refers to a physical symptom for which an adequate explanation cannot be found. Usually, the onset of symptoms is mental rather than physical. Professor Marti Tiuri proposed that the phenomenon was an unexplained atmospheric plasma discharge since buzzing sound was heard during the phenomenon. The professor also suggested ultraviolet radiation as the men described the light as bluish light. But because the men got different symptoms, even through their clothes, he was also considering the possibility of X-ray radiation. An overdose of ionizing radiation can cause symptoms similar to what these men had. One of the options considered was a reflection caused by an aircraft searchlight. Suomen Kuvalehti contacted the Southern Finland Air Navigation Service and inquired about flights on January 7 between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. The air traffic control confirmed that two military planes were on their way from Helsinki to Jyväskylä. The pilots told that they had flown quite low but roughly above Heinola they had decided to rise higher. For that reason, one of them had put on a searchlight to study some cloud heights. There was a thin layer of clouds in the sky at that time. Since Arno Heinonen later told that he had made dozens of UFO and alien sightings, critics suspected that he was manufacturing UFO sightings. Rarely, however, people who see UFOs are seen as sane and many fail to report their sightings in fear of being labeled insane. Heinonen and Viljo also did not feel the publicity brought by the incident as positive, and they also said in an interview for Suomen Kuvalehti that they wouldn't have told anyone about the phenomenon if there had not been two of them witnessing the event. In April 2020, the US Department of Defense released three Navy captured videos of flying unidentified objects, confirming that UFOs do exist. Whatever the men saw above them on that January afternoon in 1970 can be classified as UFO. The word UFO does not mean an artificial and extraterrestrial object, but it means that the object could not be identified.